everybody, how you doing? Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic, thanks for joining me. I'm gonna be uploading this video with some Nomad internet link below if you need some internet. I'm out here in the country, guys, and uh, moving forward, uh, as we approach summer here and my summer trip to the Northeast, I'm changing my attitude. Uh, it's, it's all gonna be rainbows and pancakes from here on out, and uh, I'm really excited. This old uh, gas station I just stopped at, though, uh, I mean, it, these are some pretty old pumps that says they're closed. So, we're in the middle of Missouri right now, and I'm going to be kind of slowly creeping out in the next couple of days out of Missouri. I'm looking forward to a lot this summer. Uh, parts of Pennsylvania that I haven't visited, uh, possibly Maryland, uh, if some of the museums start, start to reopen in the Northeast, and, and of course, uh, getting all the way over to the water eventually. But today, our travel plans leave us here in, I believe I'm in Lost Lake? Lake? L Lone Lake? It, might be called Lone Lake. I got something here I want to show you across the street. Look at this old building, guys. This is so cool. We're at 1669 State Highway 32. Let's get a little closer in here. Oh, this is cool. Look at the look at the sign up here. First State Bank, Long Lang, Missouri, established 1910 to October 20th of 1925. Yeah, I can still see the, the paint on there, on, on the window. It's an old building and it's open, so we can even peek in here. Oh my gosh, look at this place. I don't think this bank is very secure, but, <laughs> oh wow. Get a load of that safe door. Wow, that is a monster safe. Is there any money in there? <laughs> That's a negative, Eric. There's no money. An old wooden chair. Here's the bank teller desk. And they look through. I mean, this almost has that feel of the old west here. Man, that's neat. Huh. Another old table and desk there. Just a tiny bank. In a lot of ways, this has that almost Route 66 feel, which is ironic because as we get out of Missouri, even today, we are going to go through a piece of, uh, Missouri, of, of Route 66 today. So... But I don't know if it's the world's smallest bank, but it's definitely Missouri's smallest bank not in operation today. It is going to be a good day. Thanks for joining me, guys. Let's go have some fun and, and go northeast from here. Hey, wait. Before we hop back on Route 66 here, I want to see, because these might be somebody's house, but somebody has turned, do you call these hay, hay silos? I know they're used in farming, but I believe somebody has turned this into a structure. Oh, all right, I don't know what's up with these, but look, there's a sign on top that says, Drink Royal Crown Cola, very faded. It's got the awning, a front porch with a light and a bell. There's a little keypad to get in. Are these the world's quirkiest Air and Bs? I think that's what they are. I think, I think you can rent them out. I don't see a number or anything or an address. But it's got the mobile gas logo on it. Let's walk around the back because you can definitely see they, they have power here. Uh, I had a feeling. Look at that. There's an air conditioner heater unit built right into it. So I don't know if these are available to the public or not. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, it's a, it's a grain silo. Here's the warning sign for the grain silo by Butler. There's a window up there. And they've been complete. Oh, I wish I could see the inside. How about this one? Can we peek in? I can't see anything. I see two old bottles in the window. You know what? The air conditioner's going on this one. I wonder if somebody's in there. <laughs> I better not peek in that window. But they've got water hookups. So they're pretty neat. Uh, driving in from the back, though, I didn't know what they were going to be. I just thought they might be offices or something. But what do you guys think? I'm pretty sure those might be some Airbnbs you can rent and stay in a, in a green silo. All right, let's get back on to Route 66. All right, in front of us is I-40, which in parts is actually the only part of Route 66 you can go on. Otherwise, there's you know these little roads like I'm on right now that are now called uh, like frontage roads. Uh, or like if there's like a big accident on I-40, they could uh, also take these frontage roads instead of I-40, but we are going to be on the interstate for a little bit. I got to grab some gas in Missouri before going any farther up north because the gas prices are going to skyrocket also. 
as I, as I travel to the northeast. So, yeah, we'll do some Route 66 driving here for a little bit. Uh, first thing I need to figure out is if I'm even going to fit in Uranus. Because Miranda is, she's a big girl. Oh, this looks quirky. Where are we going to park here? Somewhere. Welcome back to Uranus, Missouri, everyone. Oh, yeah. The city of Uranus, Missouri is definitely one of the uh, quirkiest places. It ranks right up there with, with Cave City and Branson, maybe, but it's all just in this one little area. We've got dinosaurs, got an old fire truck there. The funky yard. I don't think this is open. It's usually serving food, but I don't think it's open right now for some reason. No, it's closed. Interesting. Now, if you've never explored inside Uranus, you are missing out on a lot of fun, guys. This is a quirky place. You get your tattoos. It says, warning, do not take photos or videos of this sign. Violators will be vi violated in Uranus. That's awesome. And we've got the Uranus Examiner, your regional news source here. And this sign says, this is Johnson and he lives in Uranus. Johnson loves to be stroked and petted. Everyone loves Johnson in your... <laughs> oh my gosh, that's bad. This is Johnson, by the way. A friendly boy. That's right. I'm petting the Johnson in Uranus. All right, buddy. Are you have a good day. Uh-oh. Missing a pair of balls. Uh-oh. There's somewhere here in Uranus, I'm sure. There's definitely some new stuff since uh, I was here several years ago. We got the strange museum in there. Let's see, is there a place to get food? Yep, this is the general store of Uranus on Route 66. The uh, entrance to the fudge factory is over here. Pretty cool, says thanks for visiting Uranus and here's how you enter Uranus. <laughs> they really go overboard with it. Wow, look at all the stuff they have in Uranus. I mean, they, they literally packed Uranus full of stuff. So, I'll say they got a magnet at least. Oh yeah, all kinds of magnets there. One that says Route 66. One that says, we pump it in the front and lube it in the rear. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be tough to pick one. Big fun in Uranus. Oh geez. I'll show you when we get back to the RV which one I picked. <laughs> Uranus, Missouri Fudge Packers Union. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they got chocolate covered beans and all sorts of fudge, some alien candy in there. Hmm. I can't believe they don't have any food, like restaurant food here available, but I did get some snacks. I, I went with the uh, gas lube in the back uh, magnet there. Also got me an I Love Uranus hat. Awesome. Got some popcorn, because I'm a popcornaholic, and an ice cold RC Cola. Take that. What a beautiful day, y'all. Mm -hmm. Something else new here in Uranus, but it's across the street here. I'll walk over here and go check this guy out. Of course, they have their own muffler man. This is actually built in the likeness of the mayor of Uranus. That's who we're looking at. Very colorful. You can see it says mayor on his shirt there, holding a yellow golf ball and some awesome Murica gear there. Oh, yeah. Jeez, dude, don't get all pissy. I didn't eat any dino eggs. All right, well, I am going to pull out of Uranus and get back on Route 66. It's been a fun little stop. Yeah, I got the air conditioner on for the kitties, running on solar, solar air conditioning, Tara. But we'll feed the kitties. Oh, we'll feed the kitties then. Okay, that's what we'll do. Cool, cool. Maybe it's a good thing I couldn't get any food in my in Uranus. Oh my gosh, I got anus on the, on the mind. Uh, because I think I found some good food here in, in Rolla. Rolla? Rolla or, or, or Rolla, Missouri. This, let me see if I can find a place to park. Who's that saying? No outlet? It's 3 o'clock. No, it's 3.16 p.m. So it's a perfect time once again to get some food uh, as, a, as a traveler. I'm going to turn the air conditioner back on for the kitty cats for a little bit and uh, I'll show you what this place is. All right, roof AC is on and I've got the fan blowing out the vent where the inverter's in there. Uh, it might just be the new norm moving forward as it just keeps getting hotter. And yeah, I'm gonna be chasing 70 degrees, but uh, right now it's 91 in Missouri and muggy. Very, very muggy. So we gotta keep those kitties comfortable. All the good stuff's on Route 66, guys. This place, there was a sign that said the tater patch. So, oh my gosh, wait a minute. Thursday, they do karaoke. Oh my, 
let's go check out the tater patch. I love it. Not too busy at a 3.30 in the afternoon on a weekday. It's a Rob and Cricket's tater patch. Look at those tater tots and the happy, I don't know, grasshopper holding tater tots. Okay, home of the big tater. I gotta ask what the big tater is. Okay, so I asked and they are famous for their taters for some reason. Uh, they're like mashed potatoes, baked, baked potatoes type stuff. I like my taters in a, in a taut form, fried. Don't ask, I'm weird. Oh geez, get a load of that guys. See, I went with the uh, breaded fried catfish and of course tater tots with some barbecue sauce dipping there. Man, that catfish looks amazing. Holy cow, that looks like some good bar food. Look how amazing that piece of catfish looks, guys. And I'm really weird. I dip fish. I don't eat a lot of fish, but catfish and fish and chips, I dip in barbecue sauce. I know that's kind of weird, right? Kind of weird, Eric. Yeah, I'm weird. That's amazing. That's so good. Has anyone else ever tried to put barbecue sauce on fish? Is it, or is it just me? If you don't know, you don't know. You wouldn't like it, though. It's delicious. Gosh, that was freaking delicious. I know, it's just cheap bar food, fried catfish, but man, that was that was seasoned really, really well. Check this out, guys. I'm not usually too shy after I patronize a little small town business like this, so got to talk with my waitress and uh, told her, you know, I'm just kind of traveling Route 66 in my RV that has solar and I don't really need anything from you guys, but is it okay if I overnight in your parking lot overnight? She said yes. They just asked me to uh, leave for the dinner rush <coughs> so that I could come back tonight after 8 p.m. and park anywhere on the back side of the lot and uh, boondock here at Tater Patch. So I, I, I like to kind of ask that way. That way you kind of don't have to worry about going to a Walmart parking lot or anything. You're, you're just going to spend that night exactly where you just had lunch. So I'm going to go over to uh, Walmart real quick and do some shopping. And uh, now I'm, I'm feeling good about tonight. Good deal, man. All right, hold tight. Again, driving a Class A, towing a car. Can't pull in everywhere I want to go, but I don't mind walking a little bit back to this. Get a load of this gas station here in Rolla, Missouri. Historic Route 66, fireworks, antique moccasins, a totem pole. That's a really old sign here on the mother road. I don't know if they're actually open or still pumping gas though. Look at this awesome Route 66 gas pump. It's even got the Route 66 globe on the top. I mean, that thing's worth hundreds of dollars right there. That is a beautiful gas pump. And then another old school pump here. Oh geez, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, okay. And this gas pump right here says, she's saying, y'all come in now and get yourself some Route 66 Cola. There's two more of the Route 66 globes on top. Hey, look at this sign directly in front of us. Missouri's oldest business, 1933 on historic Route 66. This is the oldest business on Route 66. And it looks like they're open. Let's go check it out. So see that picture there from 1933, the, uh, the totem pole? That's what this place uh, looked like. And, and they, they were pumping gas here uh, till about 10, 10 years ago. Shell and then Standard before that. Here's a bunch of old pictures. There's one 1957. So we go through all the different changes, 1961. There's the totem pole trading post out front with the Shell logo there. Pretty neat. So again, from this picture from 1933, you see the totem pole on top there. That, that's how this place got its name. Well, here in the store, they have the original totem pole right in front of us here. Yeah, the seagull on top. I think it's a seagull. That's really neat. It's really cool that they still have all this. And the wait is over, Eric. They have Route 66 Cola here. Oh yeah, I need me some black cherry sugar cane Route 66 Cola. Here's a different ones. I haven't seen this before. The 95th anniversary Route 66 Collector Cola. 1926 to, to 2021. Ooh, 1295. They got the Mother Road root beer down there. The cream soda. I just have I haven't seen these ones before. They're very collectible, I guess. Lots and lots of uh, Route 66 magnets. Uh, but you know, if, if they had one that actually said you got to be kidding me. 
I was going to say one that said totem pole on it. Look at that. Route 66 station totem pole. I got to have it. <laughs> and fireworks year round. All kinds of fireworks for your celebration. Name, address, and phone number required for all firework purchases. Interesting. Yeah, back home we only we only get to see these a few days before the Fourth of July. Oh, look at this! They got the uh, candy candy cigarettes for my uh, vending machine back home. Ninety nine cents. Oh, I've never seen that one. Roundup, Target. Oh, I'm definitely gonna need a few of these too. Oh yeah, it's time. Look at that! Look at that beautiful drink. Pure ca sugar cane. I don't drink sugary drinks too much, but oh my gosh, that's delicious. You wouldn't like it. All right, now, I'll head on over to the uh, Walmart of Rolla, do all my shopping and stuff, get back with you guys later tonight. By the way, the rooftop AC is running on solar right now on high. So, can you hear it? it it's really not that loud. And my batteries are down to about 72%. So, if I continue to run it too much later and the sun goes down, I am going to have to fire up the generator just to recharge, but I think I'll be able to turn it off once I get parked. I just don't want to do a bunch of shopping and have the kitties in here and it get too warm and get back, and then I'm sweating and they're unhappy, so I'll get back to you here later tonight once I get parked back at the bar, guys. All right, trying on the new I Love Uranus hat. Fits me good. It's a, it's, it's a good hat. I'm um, parked for the night, so good to go. I'm going to catch up on some YouTube. I'm going to probably watch some Netflix and just kind of hang out with the kitties tonight and then do some editing. Um, also, today I'm not putting the slide out. So the slide is in... I'm going to step back so you can see. The, the, the big... The driver's side slide right here, okay? I, di I didn't put it out. I don't need it out. Uh, I can still function... Uh, just fine. Uh, sitting there, the slide door does not get in the way of the uh, TV there, so it works perfect for me. And uh, the kitties, the kitties are still snoozing, actually. I'm, I'm going to let them sleep. Uh, I'm going to edit for a little bit. And uh, then, man, can I at least point out today was a really good day? Just all around a good travel day. Things are working well for me. And uh, I just, I really feel like today was good. And I really, really needed that. So we're going to continue heading northeast, possibly all the way to Maine. Stay tuned. Jack's Tara and I will see you in a couple days. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>